Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. If you are looking for other placements, I do have two other channels, a Cancer-only channel, uh, Cancer, 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 and a Libra-only channel, Lady Libra Tarot. The links are both in the description box below the video. If you're looking for my information to book a personal reading or my tarot deck, Magical Fantasy Tarot, you will also find that in the description box, along with the timestamp. Uh, guys, I am going to do a Halloween giveaway, Halloween giveaway, sorry, a Thanksgiving giveaway, a uh, 15 minute reading on both Cancer, Cancer, Cancer and Quartz Rose Tarot, same as last time. Uh, if you're interested, it's going to be a video recorded uh, reading. Type gobble gobble in the comment section. Okay, that was a mouthful. Okay, let's get into this for Aries. Weekend vibe. What do we got for the weekend vibe, Aries? What do we got for the weekend vibe? So you're trying to decide whether or not you want to stand your ground against some deception. Um, with this page of one in an argument, it's almost like you feel like it's meant to be. It's so it's almost like you, this is about you wanting to say what you want to say. You want to call somebody out on their shit. That's what I feel like. Literally, you want to call somebody out, but you're at a crossroads about standing your ground against, against this deception in an argument. Like, you, you know, it's like if you're, if somebody's gaslighting you or somebody is saying something you know is not true, you're, you're, you're not sure you want to call them out, but you, but you, you know, you could go either way here. You feel like it's meant to be, it's meant to be, this is fate, something it, you're going to call somebody out on this. See. There were past mistakes. This is not like this is, this is Aries. This person has done this to you before. With that seven of pinnacles, you're looking back at past mistakes and you're wishing to walk away. You're wishing to walk away in your judgment. Uh, it's almost like you have an opportunity here to master your emotions. I feel like it's like you need to lay the cards on the table. You have to, it's almost like you're seeing, you're seeing en enough's enough here. Because you're wishing to walk away. This is why you're feeling the need to speak your mind before you do. Um, somebody has, yeah, this could be, this could be a coworker. This could be a, family member this could be it doesn't have to be a love relation but you've got to master your emotions there's an opportunity for you to master your emotions you got the hermit you've done a lot of self-reflection here right so you've thought about this you've given this some thought this person has pissed you off a few times and aries it's very difficult for you to hold your temper when you're really mad i mean if you know an aries my twin was an Aries, and I'm telling you, when they get mad, the uh, volcano erupts. It does. So I feel like there, I feel like you have an opportunity to master your emotions because you're thinking about this. This is almost like you know it's coming. It's the calm before the storm, and you're going to handle whatever this is. And then you're going to wait to move forward because you're going to see things from a different perspective. Right, because you're going to clear your, you're going to clear the path, so to speak. You're going to speak your mind. You're going to say what you need to say to this person. I don't blame you. If somebody's done this to you in the past, it's time to be straightforward. Say what you mean. Mean what you say. Taurus. Weekend vibe, Taurus. What do we got? Weekend vibe.
Oh. Hello. Taurus, you're saying you're saying uh, goodbye to something. You are ending, you're closing a cycle. You're ending something to start something new. You're ending something toxic. You're making that choice. You're ending you you're you're starting to understand what's good for you and what's not, right? Because your your energy is an emperor. You've already you you've already um you've graduated to an emperor energy. Taking control, standing in your power. It's your way or the highway, kind of. This is the top dog, right? This person's the head of the the head of the whole kit and caboodle. Um closing out anything that's devil energy, which is toxic. Ending ending the devil energy, the toxicity. That's your choice, right? Emperor energy, because you're looking at this pinnacle over here. That ace of pentacles, the best ace you can get. This is going to grow. This is going to prosper. Whatever comes with this, you're going to, it's going to be abundant for you. Oh. So in this emperor energy, Taurus, there's not just one, but there's two. Two people that you're cutting out. You have a Queen of Cups and a Queen of Wands. So you have a Cancer Pisces Scorpio and an Aries Leo Sag. You're cutting them off because there's no equal give and take here. You're leaving them out in the cold. It's almost like you're blocking your options here. It's like you, you want to be, I almost feel like you want to be uh, left alone for a minute. It's almost like you want some peace. Yeah, you don't want to talk. You don't want to talk. You want to you, you wanna be left alone for a minute. You're leaving them out in the cold. You're guarded against these options. It's almost like to leave them out in the cold and not speak to them right? They might be heartbroken, but you don't want to talk to them. I almost feel like this is like you saying enough, enough, enough is enough. There might be a lot of drama going on behind the scenes. <coughs> Excuse me. But I feel like you've kind of had enough of it. It's almost like I just want to have some peace and quiet for a minute. I don't want to deal with nonsense. Gemini. Okay. Wow. Okay. So I feel like something came to a head, Gemini. You, you've got the tower and you've got the seven of swords and you've got the five of wands, right? That is a tower. I'm going to tell you right now, that's, a de that's deception and drama. That's strife, jealousy, competition, drama, and deception causing a tower. Somebody's wanting justice here. They're waiting for justice. They're having sleepless nights, wanting to heal and have a new beginning in love. You might be an empress here, um, Gemini. You're either dealing with an empress or you are the empress. Take it out resonates with you. You're working, working on uh, moving forward, empress energy. So you're trying to get away from, what do I see on this justice card? This justice has a sword in their hand. Your justice might be that you're trying to cut the cord. It, that tower, you've had enough of the bullshit. You've, you've literally had enough of the bullshit, the drama and the strife, jealousy, competition and drama and deception, right? 
you you you're like to where you can't you can't sleep you're waiting for justice you can't sleep at night you want to recover from this so that you can have new love moving forward working on moving forward to your happiness it's almost like you're rushing it's almost like rushing away from the harsh truth you're at a crossroads about what's hidden so, you know, it's almost like you're trying to leave something behind. You're, you're rushing away from it. You don't want to deal with it anymore. All I can say is, it, Gemini, you need a break. You do, you need a break. Because if you're in an Empress energy and you're feeling like this chaos that's going on around you, you're trying to escape it, you do need a break. You need a mental break. You need to do some meditation, some deep net meditation, because you're kind of at the end of your, um, I was going to say at the end of the rope, but that, that's a, such a harsh say, uh, way of putting it. Um, you've absolutely had it uh, up to here with kind of all the bullshit, right? You need to, you need to go within. You need to do some soul searching. It's been a long time coming. It's really, maybe you're not meditating enough. Maybe you're not grounding your energy enough. But what I'm seeing here is like, you literally need a mental break from this shit. That's what I'm saying. Because this twin flame journey is no joke, guys. I mean, those that are not on it could not even comprehend the amount of crap that you go through in a twin flame. And, and they don't understand it because I, I, I read the comments and I see what people, you know, if you're a twin, you get it. You just get it. Okay. When you know, you know, if you're not a twin, you have no idea the amount of nonsense and bullshit that you have to go through and deal with on this journey and to try to get away from it. It's impossible. It's impossible. It's in your head 24 seven. And I'm going to tell you, I, I'm not one of those people personally that if I'm done with somebody, I can walk away and turn away and walk away and, and never look back. I'm not one of those people. And it's like, if I'm done with something, I'm done. But when my twin, that's one part, one person in my life that I could never separate from. I could never separate the, I could never break the cord. Even when I wanted to break the cord, I couldn't break the cord. And so to see this mental anguish that you're going through, Gemini, I, I feel for you because I know, but you really, really can get through this by grounding your energy, taking and clearing your energy with a salt bath, um, saying a prayer, um, putting it in a different perspective. You really just need a moment of peace and clarity. That's what you need. That's deep and went down the rabbit hole, but it needed to be said. So, Cancer. Tell me about Cancer. So you're communicating, Cancer, you're coming in. You could be the emperor or you could be the queen of pentacles here. The queen of pentacles kind of represents the empress and the minor arcana, okay? So you're communicating back and forth. It's what it's saying. You're communicating back and forth here. You're trapped in your head about the deception in the past and the mind games and manipulation. with this partner, 10 of cups that you want to be with and have equal give and take, but you're heartbroken. And you, it's almost like because somebody rushes in and rushes out and you have to see things from a different perspective. You got to turn into that queen of swords. You do. As the, as the emperor needs to turn into the king of swords, 
The king of swords is where you find that mental clarity because the swords represent thoughts and someone's in their head space and they plot and they plan and they, they figure it out, right? You, you know, cancer, you're in your emotions where you don't need to be in your emotions. You need to be in your, in, you know, thinking logically, not emotionally. You're communicating back and forth with this person and you're talking about all of the shit that's happened. You're really talking about everything that's happened that's gone on between the two of you. And you really love this person and you want to be with this person. And you want it to work out with this person, but you're still dealing with the heartbreak of this person being in his lowest vibration because this would represent the emperor in his lowest vibration, the knight of wands. Okay. In and out there for a good time, not a long time. And you having to take a step back and seeing things from a different perspective as a queen of swords. In other words, don't bother me if you're not ready, right? I will cut you out. The queen of swords will use that sword to cut you out. You have to be ready for, for me at this point. It's like what she's really saying to him that I'm not going to let you do this to me anymore. You're either going to figure out where you're at with this and go forward or, you know, because they have to learn their lessons separately. These two have to learn their lessons separately. Hers is to know her worth and value. His is to uh, break his ego, right? Because when they, when they come together in union, they're equals. There's no ego. There's not one above the other. They're equal because they're meant to raise the vibration of people on earth in this, in the 5D, or in, I'm sorry, in the 3D. That's part of, that's the, that's the end goal of the journey. But all of this nonsense that everybody goes through, that's what you have to go through to gain the strength that you need to do what you, you can't get to the end of the line and do the job if you're not strong enough to handle the job, right? So people thinking that, well, he cheated. The cheating is nothing in this. It's, it's absolutely nothing in this. That's what made you stronger in this. You got to get out of your headspace if you're a twin about the cheating. That karmic is there to teach you both lessons. That's literally what it's about. I mean, that's why you literally have to see things from a different perspective. You're on a spiritual journey. It is so less about the romance and more about the end goal than you realize. So there you go. Cancer. I guess I'm going down the rabbit hole today. <laughs> I am. I'm going down the rabbit hole. Okay, Leo. Weekend vibe, Leo. Leo, you're coming in as an Empress Queen of Pentacles again, just like Cancer. You're wishing to see things from a different perspective. That's your wish. You're wishing, you're wishing for your happiness and success. You're wishing to be happy and celebrate with the King of Wands, Aries Leo Sag. Tell me about that. I feel like it's more of how you feel about the situation than what the reality what the than the what the reality really is of this, right? I feel like with it, it's your wish fulfillment to see things differently that you're wishing, you're wishing and hoping to celebrate with this person or to, to, uh, um, reconcile with this person. You're, it is, it's wishing to reconcile with this, but I feel like what's the problem here. It's like, you really want to be with this person, 
but they they try to manipulate you guys leo i want you to realize something you gotta you you are if you want justice here you gotta come in as the queen of swords right if you want justice you gotta be that queen of swords right because this is your person but this person this person is manipulating you to get what they want versus to come together and, and move forward with you. So in other words, when you're talking to them, really their mouth is just, you know, they're, sal you know, they're salivating. They want to be with you, right? This is, that, this is what I'm getting. But they manipulate you to where they get what they want out of, out of this situation. And they go back around and do the same bullshit over and over and over, right? This person hasn't learned their lessons. And I want you to see, even though you're coming in as a queen, you're also coming in as an empress, okay? They're coming in as, as a king. This person's not ready for you. This person's still got that player energy, right? I see it, I want it, it's mine. He still has to go through the king of swords and then get to the emperor before he's going to be able to stand in front of you without manipulating you to try to get what he wants out of you, okay? Because this person's going to knock at your door or he's going to call you or text you, how you doing, what are you doing, what are you doing tonight, that kind of thing. Being all love, love bombing you, that's love bombing, and, and trying to get what he wants, right? But in order for you to get justice with your Ten of Cups, you got to communicate that he's got to master his emotions. He's got to gain, he's got to get where he needs to be. He's not waiting, he's not in a place that it's ever going to work out right now. It's not going to work out right now. The two of you are on two different pages. You're here, he's there, right? You're an empress, he's a king. He's not, his vibration's too low for you. And, and he's going to play games until um, you put your foot down. You're going to put your foot down, though. Leo, I'm surprised you haven't put your foot down with him already because when Leo gets pissed, that lion roars, right? You know, it's like it, this person needs to, instead of trying to manipulate you and get you to sleep with them or whatever the case may be, and that's usually what it is, they want to sleep with you um, and get what they want, but then they turn around and, and, and leave you heartbroken, right? Don't let them. Virgo. I'm surprised I didn't see that in the last. <laughs> Virgo, I like, I like your attitude here. You need the strength to leave somebody out in the cold, even if they're your 10 of cups, or even if this is, I'm sorry, that's 10 of pentacles. Even if this is a long-term commitment, even if that you've been with this person a long time, you need the strength to leave somebody out in the cold and, and cut them off. Your judgment is to cut them off. If this person's coming in, th this would apply the same way if you were an empress or if you were a king, uh, it, whether you're an empress or an emperor, right? You have to, in this case, I feel like, uh, Virgo, you might be the emperor here. I feel like in this case is that you need the strength to leave somebody out in the cold and your judgment is to cut them off. You've offered them a relationship, emperor energy. You offered this to the queen of cups. But all you're doing is manifesting a heartbreak because of the burden. This person's toxic. This person's like a stage five clinger to you. This, this person's obsessed with holding on to you. All this person it does is, is produce heartbreak. It's like you offered the relationship to this person. I'm going to tell you, Virgo, this is telling me that this person isn't your person. This is a karmic. 
And this is why you need the strength to leave somebody out in the cold that you may have been committed to, right? But your judgment is to cut them off. You offered them a relationship, but all you're doing is manifesting heartbreak and burden, right? Because they're toxic and they're holding on to you. So this is telling me that you're dealing with a karmic and yes, you do need the strength to leave this person out in the cold because once you emperor up, you're going to recognize that this person isn't your person. Right? Here's your tower. It's not your person. Right? All you're going to get is mind games and manipulation, and then it's going to end with you moving forward to heal. Okay? I'm telling you, this is a karmic. You need the strength to leave this person out in the cold. Libra. You're doing some soul searching for an opportunity in love. You may be working with your guides or you may be working on your, you're patiently working. You could be patiently working. You're looking at things. You're, you're doing some deep soul searching for an opportunity in love. In other words, you're really looking at yourself. You're evaluating yourself. You're manifesting an offer. So it's almost like you're preparing yourself for a relationship. You're manifesting love. You're, you're manifesting a new beginning. You're, you're soul searching and, and looking at things the way you need to look at them. You, it's almost like self-evaluation. What have I done in, in my past relationships that I didn't like, that were unhealthy, that I can change? That kind of thing. You're doing a lot of soul searching. You may have been married before and you were discontent with the burden and heartbreak, causing a tower moment. Because somebody played mind games and manipulated some, manipulated you, so you ended the situation. So it's two sides of the coin here. This is your past and how you felt about a situation, but this is why you're doing the soul searching. This is why you're 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 really looking over. Um, you're really in a self evaluation mode. Libra, you're really kind of looking at what's right for you. I like that for you. I like this energy that you are really doing some self-reflection and fixing you um, because all of us are broken. I mean, let's just face it, all of us. There's not a perfect one among us, okay? This is what you've been through. This is where you're headed. And it looks good. This looks really good for you. I like that because you, you really figuring out what's important to you is where you're going to uh, rise above whatever you've been through. But definitely on a healing path. I like it. Okay, Scorpio. Scorpio, weekend vibe. What's happening, Scorpio? <laughs> Scorpio you make me laugh you know sometimes when I look at these cards and I just go oh boy 
you know, the message gets real clear and, and somebody is, somebody is like fingernails on a chalkboard to you, Scorpio. That's what this, this is real, the harsh truth. You're working on your patience. You know, if, if truth be told, you're working on your patience, right? Because somebody from the past needs to move on. It's almost like this person is on your last nerve, right? And you're just about over the bullshit. You're discontent. You're not happy. You're not happy, right? You're communicating that you're not happy. Somebody's telling you you're you're not you're not happy. You're communicating you're not happy because uh, and you're saying the third party has to end. There's a third party that has to end. Um, but I feel like why would you need to tell somebody that? I feel like they they need to move on. They just need to move on. Oh, I get it. I get it now. In other words, if this person's coming near you, this, the third party's a karmic, okay? Ten of Cups is your partner. And this is if you want to reconcile, you're discontent communicating the third party has to end if you want to reconcile with the Empress and have happiness here, right? They're on your last nerve. I can see why. I can see why. 100%. If you want to be with me, that shit's got to end. You've got to move forward. You've got to let that go and never look back, right? Stop the juggling. If you want justice, leave it out in the cold. So you really, you really know that you have to let go of something if you want to move forward in another direction, period. Sag. Thirty two thirty two. Google thirty two thirty two angel number Sag. It's like there's an offer coming. You're single and abundant. Sad, you're single and abundant. And it's almost like there's an offer that you want to move forward. It's almost like you're moving forward with an offer. You're single and abundant. You're manifesting, waiting for happiness. Right? You could be waiting for your ships to come in. No, you're waiting for your happiness. You're yearning for happiness. You're manifesting it. This is like you're moving forward with an offer. I feel like what you've you're moving forward from past mistakes. You're you're manifesting letting go of things that don't serve you anymore. It's Why do I get the feeling that you are in a headspace of you should have done this sooner than this because you held on where you should have moved, you should have moved forward, but you held on thinking that you were going to get your wish fulfillment. You know, here's the thing. If you are holding on to a person, waiting for them to come back to you. All this person is using you as, as is a, is a placeholder. Because if they wanted to, they would. Okay. If they wanted to be with you, they would. 
as cruel as that sounds, if you're giving up your time and your energy for somebody because you're held on it's because you wanted your wish fulfillment, this person is just giving you breadcrumbs to keep you where you're at in order to have you when they want you and then go about their merry way. Don't allow this. This is why this is like this. You're moving forward with another offer. Because you've waited for your wish fulfillment, right? This is something you've manifested. You are single and abundant. You are the whole package. You're just not the right package for the person that you waited for. You are, you are giving your best years to somebody who doesn't appreciate. That's how you need to see this. But I feel like I like the fact that you're now moving on to a better offer because this person that you've held on to for so long, they haven't appreciated anything that you've given. They won't appreciate you if they ever do. Let me just put it that way. If, if they do ever appreciate you, it'll be once you've walked away from them, then they'll appreciate you. Then they'll realize what they had. But while you're there giving them what they want, they're never going to appreciate you. Capricorn. Capricorn. Capricorn, you may be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sag. You feel like this person's lying to you because deception is at the center of your read. Now, emotionally communicating them in the relationship there, you're communicating to your partner, but there's deception here with this queen of wands. Oh, 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 I don't like that. Capricorn, this person's attacking you with an illusion. You got the Knight of Swords and the Moon. This is an attack with an illusion. So this, yes, there is deception in this relationship. This person might be doing witchcraft on you. Now this person may be doing love spells. They may be doing, uh, oh, they could be doing any kind of thing on you, actually. Uh, I feel like what's happening is you're going to be single. Your judgment is that you should be single and walk away. You're, you're, I like that you're in the King of Swords mode because it, once you're in the King of Swords mode, you're going to beat your opponent with, with their own weakness. You're going to plot and plan. You're going to figure this out. You're going to take them out at the knees, right? Uh, because that's, it's meant to happen that way, right? Uh-huh. So Capricorn, you two are a twin because this queen of wands is actually a karmic because that king of swords is, is meant to be with the empress energy that he's not speaking to. It's illuminating, not speaking to the empress. Well, the illusion is to keep you away from the empress. That's what this is in your judgment. So your judgment with that nine of pentacles is that you should be with the, you would rec you, you want to reconcile with the uh, pre empress energy, right? Someone that you're not talking to, but you need to walk away from this person that you're dealing with. You know, there's deception. So you need to walk away king of swords because it's meant to, you're meant to be somewhere else. And this person is 
is attacking you with an illusion. The illusion is to keep the two of you apart. So you're not speaking to the Empress. It's almost like, you know, it's like you can't talk to this person. It, they're, you're, it's being blocked. Your energy between the two of you is being blocked. Even though you're energetically connected, it's just a temporary setback. Don't look at it as if it's anything more than that. Because then you're giving something power that doesn't deserve. Aquarius. Aquarius. Aquarius, you're just at the end right here, right? You're not speaking in your judgment. You're holding back your opinion. You're holding back your judgment. You're holding back your opinion. You're not speaking. You're cutting somebody off. Could be an Aries Leo Sag. Aquarius, I feel like you're not getting anything. You're not getting what you want from somebody. Your needs aren't being met by this king of wands, right? So you're, you're holding back your opinion. You're not speaking. You just want to cut this person off and be single. Um, you're obsessed with equal give and take and you're discontent. A discontent, every, every time you communicate with somebody from the past, You're at a crossroads about whether or not they're lying to you, right? So what's in the dark is going to come to light, right? So, and you're, you're holding back your opinion. You're not telling somebody what you really think about a situation. You would rather just walk away and be single, right? Because there's no equal give and take in a situation and you're discontent. It's almost like, you, you, you know, you, you can't force somebody to do what you want them to do, but just know. What's in the dark is going to come to light. Whatever's hidden, you're going to, is going to be illuminated, right? You're at a crossroads. You're always worried. I feel like when you're having a conversation with somebody, they don't hear anything you say. It's almost like that. I don't know. Aquarius. I feel like this person, um, doesn't listen. There's no equal give and take. They do what they want to do. And, and you, you know, I have a feeling in this relationship, you're the one who does everything. And this person does nothing, but doesn't listen to you. Because that's why you're discontent. You're moving on because you're not heard. You don't, you don't feel like you're heard. You don't feel like this person hears anything you say, but you're going to find out why. And Pisces. You're very guarded and defensive about the past and ending. You're at a crossroads about the drama. So this is about you being very defensive about something that happened with somebody from the past and ending being, being, being left out in the cold, manifesting an apology from a King of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. See, yes, you're guarded and defensive about somebody from the, from the past, 
and how it ended and being at a crossroads because of the drama being left out in a cold manifesting an apology from the king of swords this person's not going to apologize to you this person you can see the you can see they made a choice you can see they made a choice you have to look at things from a different perspective this person's not going to apologize this person doesn't care about anybody's feelings but themselves Pisces they don't because there's a queen of wands deception okay this person was with somebody else so they're not that's why it ended that it ended because they were cheating right and this person where you're manifesting an apology for how they 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 did things um yeah because you know if you were treating this person with love and kindness and they stepped out and like let blindsided you you're feeling blindsided and you want an apology, but this person's not going to give it to you. You see, they made a choice. They did. And that's why they're telling you, take a step back and look at the bigger picture. This person basically, uh, when they, it's almost like they took the trash, took itself out. Okay. Look at it that way. Look at it like you're free and clear from somebody who would do that to you and move on to somebody who wouldn't right? Because at the end of the day, you're heartbroken wanting a, an apology from somebody who just doesn't care about anybody but themselves. So you're going to be waiting for that apology for a long time. I wouldn't even bother with it. I would move on. And, and that would be the last of it. There would be no ifs, ands, or buts about it. So guys, that's all I have for you. If that resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and stay blessed.